A desperate search for solutions as the Aurora community grapples with teen gun violence. Uh, last month, six Central High School students were injured in the shooting near uh, Nome Park. Then later that same week, three more students were hurt when shots were fired in the Hinkley High School parking lot. And now, as Denver 7 CB Cotton reports, city leaders say working together is the only way to fix this. One month ago Wednesday, a shooting in Aurora would set the city on a timeline of turmoil. And it's the community's youth who have suffered because of it. Just ask Lupe Flores. A lot of like the members in our council were really just like have this sense of fear and feeling scared um, for going back to school. Flores is a member of Aurora's Youth Violence Prevention Program. She serves as a mentor to the program's members who are still in high school. So I feel like starting early with that kind of like intervention piece or prevention piece is really important. Those pieces, the city of Aurora has an urgent need to implement. From November 15th to November 28th, 13 teens were shot and wounded in city limits. And those shootings, why city leaders gathered for a virtual call on Wednesday. Trying to figure out a way that maybe the schools can be a little bit more proactive on some of those, those things that are happening within the schools. So maybe we can prevent some of the violence. City councilors listening in to presentations from Aurora Public Schools, the Aurora Mental Health Center, and Police Chief Vanessa Wilson. Chief Wilson saying that Aurora Police have had some success with its current protocols, thwarting two planned shootings. But with more officers and more financial support, she says they could do more. But again, we are lacking staffing right now to be able to, um, you know, fully staff our, our gang units and, and, and other uh, specialty units. Mental health experts also expressing a need for more adult involvement. We never have enough mentors. On Wednesday night, city leaders identified potential solutions, but the timeline to get them all done isn't clear. Those who work with the city's youth hope it's soon. That's the only thing we can do right now. I mean, just work as a community and work collaboratively. In Aurora, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.